Hi, and thanks for watching this video about importing selections. You might want to import a selection of records if you export a large group of constituents, such as a group of people to be included in a mailing. After you determine the final list of people to be included, you can import that list back into the system. Before we walk through the process to import a selection, you must first save your Excel document as a CSV file. Also, you will want to make sure that you have the appropriate record ID in the file. For example, if you're importing a list of constituents, you will want to ensure that you either have the system record ID, the lookup ID, or the alternate lookup ID. Let's take a quick look at this file in more detail. Notice I have two columns of information, name and lookup ID. While it's perfectly okay to have as many columns of information as you need, Altru will only import the lookup IDs and not the additional information. You can get that information in the output of your mailing. Now let's walk through importing this file. From Analysis back in Altru, click Import Selections. Click to add a new process. In the Name field, enter a unique name to help identify the import. The selection that is created will use this name. The Description field is optional. This can be used to further identify the import process. In the Record Type drop-down, select the type of records that you are importing. For example, if you have a CSV file of constituent lookup IDs, you will select constituent as the record type. To group the selections with similar queries, select its category. You may or may not have anything in this drop-down. Mark the checkbox to show this selection in the Query Designer. This just allows the selection to be used in other areas of the software like mailings. Under Import File Information, browse to the CSV file that contains the records that you want to import. In the ID column, select the column in the import file that contains the record ID to use to identify the record. So that column name in my Excel file is called Lookup ID. In the ID Type drop-down, select whether to use the System Record ID, the Lookup ID, or the Alternate Lookup ID. Since I'm using Lookup ID, I'm going to select Lookup ID as the ID type. Once you've filled in all of the required fields, click Save and Import. On the Process Status page, you will see the process complete, and if there are any exceptions, you can go ahead and go back to Analysis. And let's go into Query to pull this particular selection into a query. Click Add an Ad Hoc Query and select the same record type that you imported. In this example, we will select constituents since we're importing a group of constituents. In the query, expand selections, and you will find the query you just imported. In Drag that to the Include Records Where section and select Yes. Next, click the Preview Results tab. This will give you an idea of all the constituents that were imported so that you can just verify the names that are going to be included in your mailing. Once you've verified your list, click the Set Save options and save your query. Well, that's it for this video, and thanks for watching. We hope this was helpful.